Okay, on this video, it's going to be pretty much what I'm going to try to cover here. I'm using a scan gauge too. Um, I found out that with these, I'm able to monitor all the vitals and tell um, to figure out why it's a no start. Because I get a lot of calls. As you guys know, or most of you guys know, I sell the Fickums on eBay. And then after I get done selling them, people call me up and say, Hey, Ron, it still doesn't start. Or, you know, I've got other issues with it. And can you help me? And plus, I do help people on YouTube, obviously. So, um, that's what I do as far as like with this. What I want you to monitor, you need to monitor FICM sync, FICM voltage, ICP, and IPR. It's important that the FICM voltage never drops below 45, and it's the uh, FICM sync. It has to read on this. It'll read one. That shows that they're synchronized and that it agrees and it knows the engine position. ICP, key on engine off. You want it to never... Um, you pretty much you just want it to be at the most atmospheric pressure with the exception of if you have an 03 early 04 and you put the new styled sensor on it and the um, they may read 50 or 60 psi key on engine off it's only the 03 early 04 with the new styled sensors all the other ones you want to make sure that it reads 0 to maybe 15 depending on your altitude or what your um, pressure is at your altitude and then the other thing is too the IPR IPR should never hit 15 or 85 percent when it's running. If it's hits, if it's 15, that's usually a bad signal from the ICP sensor. It's dumping too much, or the most common is 85 percent, um, and that's because it's compensating for a leak. So we want to make sure that um, you know watch that too, because sometimes I'll see trucks will start they hit the 500 psi, but the pump's working at 85 percent to start. And you shouldn't do that. That pump should comfortably start 30 percentage or down lower and driving down the road, hard excel. You maybe you hit 80. If you have a program, you might hit 82, 83. Most trucks, though, hard excel is only going to hit 77. So, again, on, on the video here that we're about ready to make and show, uh, we're just going to go through different scenarios with the, um, with the uh, scan gauge 2 and see what's missing um, as far as making it not start. And then also what, um, uh, and now each individual, if you look through under Diesel Tech Ron, you'll be able to find the different videos where I went into details on each no start. But this one's just going to be a compilation of all the different videos I found. And one of the things I didn't mention, I get a lot of questions for, I just want to say one thing on, on the IPR. If you have an IPR and the screen's broke like this, you can go ahead and try to remove the screen and see if you can find the piece that's inside of there. And if you can, these screens are available separate and if you can find the piece that's inside of there remove it see what happens see if it still works but it's very important when you have low ICP or your IPR injection pressure regulator this part hits 85 percent it's probably because it's not seating now I get the people ask me questions when you apply 12 volts and ground to your sensor here that should energize this and make it stick harder it doesn't make it move because I'll get people call me up and say, hey, I put 12 volts to it, it doesn't move. It's not supposed to. It is supposed. This is a shutoff valve. Think of your pumps always creating the pressure. This shuts it off or this dumps it as needed. So we'll take the, um, again, make sure that it's seated inside there. And usually if you push on it, you can feel it moving. And make sure there's no contamination, no pieces on it. It pieces stuck inside there. So anyhow, here, I'm going to do the video showing four or five different scenarios of crank no start and then if you want more detail go ahead and just look through the different videos I have posted and then you can see each one what I actually found with it being the whether it be the FICM or the ICP or IPR um, or a pump or a leak those will all be different individual videos to keep them short I just try to show I'm gonna have uh, each one stand on its own thank you okay I have a 2005 crank no start this is another one now remember, we watched the FICM power during the injection clatter. We verify that the ICP is uh, reading. We, we want to see it under atmospheric pressure. So anywhere from 0 to 15 is okay. Now one thing I need to mention, if you have the new style ICP sensor in an 03 or an 04, they may read 50, 60 PSI. That's normal just because they're off a little bit. So anyhow, I'm, I'm going to cycle the key. It will uh, monitor FICM M power during the key injector clatter, and then I'm going to crank it and watch and see what we're missing. Is it sync? Is it IPR? Um, does it have to get to 85%? The FICM power dropping, or the ICP not building? So, 
there's a key on. The injector's clatter is good. We've got the 48 volts, at least during clatter. Remember, it doesn't start, so we can't check it there. I'm going to crank it now. Glow plug lights out. Going to crank it and watch my ICP, IPR, and FICM power, and the sink, of course. Okay, we had sync, we had pick'em power. With the maximum ICP that I saw build there was under 400. So we have a, uh, we can't get the, we, again, we need the 500 PSI just to start, of uh, just to idle. Okay, here I have another crank, no start. I'm putting all the, uh, I'm putting the scan gauge too on top of the brake pedal on, on all of them. That way it keeps the uh, glare down so on, the, on the recording them. But anyhow, again, we watch IPR, sync, ICP, and FICM main power. So I'm going to cycle the key, turn it on, and watch here. There we go. We're well below 45. Remember, anything below 45 on the FICM main power, it's a fail. Still, it may start with 37, so I still want to watch my ICP, my IPR, and my FICM sync. Even though the FICM failed, it's bad. Still, let's see what happens. Anyhow, I don't know how well the sound of the engine came across, but we can see we have enough ICP pressure. IPR wasn't hitting max. We did have FICM sync, but the voltage is way too low on the FICM main power. So this one is a FICM. Okay, here I have a 2006 crank no start. I've got it communicating, but let me cycle the key so I can look at FICM M power again. It's clattering, it's staying up. So let's watch it here again, IPR, sync, and ICP. Let's see what we get up to. I have sync, I have IPR, I have ICP of 230, oh, 117, dropping actually, 270, 188, 171, 230. Okay, I have a low injection pressure issue. But I have sink, I have thick and voltage, I have the clatter, I have fuel. So I'm going to pull this one apart and see what's up. Okay, here's another case study where I say the importance of using all your senses. So here we'll check it. I've got it all hooked up. We've got the IPR, roughly 15%, key on engine off, good thick and voltage, sync and ICP. Now we have to verify. But again, like I always say, take all your senses. So let's turn the key on to cycle it. I can hear the injectors, the pre-cycle going. Everything else is good, so I'm going to crank it. Okay, we obviously we have issues because the IPR is stuck, but it's not cranking right. There's something, there's something seizing this motor up. It just the sound doesn't seem right. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out and report what that is. Okay, I'm going to try to see how well this comes across. But what I want you to pay attention to is the belt, and also as it's turning, watch the pulleys move, especially that AC one. That's what we want to do is look for any of the pulleys, any signs of wear. So here I'm going to try to crank it again. And let's watch that AC compressor one especially. The top one's the belt tensioner, the bottom one's the AC. So watch this. See it's not moving. And also how much the belt jumped. Again, I'll have to look at the video and see how well that came through. Let's go after the, uh, let's see what's going on with the belt. Okay, here we go. Same truck with the belt removed now. I've got the battery all up it's cranking over let's go ahead and watch this again see what we end up with I'm gonna cycle the key We've got the injector pre-cycle going now let's watch and see what we get here 
there as far as the other results. Pretty much that one uh, is no start because of the uh, AC compressor. So I'll go sell the AC compressor. All this looks good. Watch it. There's another uh, case study showing different scenarios and different things you want to look for and what to watch and what, what I found. Thank you. Okay, here I have another one. Crank no start. I've got the cycle the key. Got the pick and voltage at 50. Zero ICP, zero sync, IPR at the normal 15% or 14.81. Building is at 85%, which we never want to see. We got 250 max ICP. So this one's going to have a problem being at 06. It's probably a coupler or a fuel rail pub, but we'll check it out and see what's up with this one. Okay, here I have a 2003. They claim it will start if you use starting fluid on it. So I'm going to go ahead and monitor all the inputs, see what we got. There's a T cycle. I've got 49 Fickham volts. ICP proves out at 13 psi, key on engine off, and the IPR. Let's see what we come up with. Remember, it takes 500 to start. This is peaking out right there at 410. The injectors are not being commanded on. So I have to go into this one and report back what I find with this one. 2003.